Welcome to the leather journey and the continuing little series we're doing on boots and pieces of leather. Uh, as always, I would remind you uh, to subscribe, like the video, leave comments below, and, uh, and think about joining the channel. This channel started out as BDSM dungeon play and it was focused primarily on techniques for dungeon play and we've moved most of those videos, not all of them, but most of those videos are behind the membership level at the boots level or higher. So if you're interested in dungeon play, you're interested in quality uh, sound practices and techniques in dungeon play, you might consider joining the channel, even if it's just for a month and checking out some of those videos. Helps the channel out helps us keep doing what we're doing. So let's just talk briefly about boot care. Uh, and we're not gonna go, we could do uh, a whole video on exotics, a whole video on leathers and different tanning processes, but we're just gonna do a quick and dirty. So here's the quick and dirty. This little box that you're seeing is an old fashioned apple crate that actually belonged to my father probably about 50 years ago and he kept his shoe polish in it. Like father, like son, I'm still keeping my shoe polish and all my brushes and everything in this apple crate, okay? So what do I have a wisp broom for? Well, a wisp broom is if I get mud or dirt uh, around the edge of a boot or on the sole of a boot. Uh, once that dirt or mud's dried, I use the wisp broom to brush off uh, dirt. Okay, nothing fancy there. I got a whole bunch of rags, uh, old underwear that got holes in it, uh, cotton sock, that kind of stuff makes great rags for applying polish uh, or buffing the leather. Uh, I'm not a boot black, this is just the way I go about taking care of my boots. My goal is to uh, condition I'll polish a boot if it needs to be polished twice a year. Uh, some people would do it more often than that, but that's my goal. When you've got 12 pairs of boots you have to take care of, I'm not out every single weekend working on those. So when I have an exotic like uh, uh, Stingray, uh, Rattlesnake, Python, Lizard, I'm gonna take care of those with a product made by Justin's called Reptile Cleaner and Conditioner. You should be able to easily find that. That sprays on as a light foam. You let it dry, you wipe it off with a clean rag. For cleaning leather, uh, I'm gonna use a good saddle soap. Uh, this particular one is Joseph Liddy, but any any good saddle soap is going to work fine. For polishes, well, I'll talk a little bit about brushes quickly. You, I use a soft bristle brush or a soft shoe brush to buff and polish a shoe. I'll typically have, well, I'd have another one over here. I have two, two brushes. This one is just for shoes that are black or have black polish on them. This one is for shoes that are in the brown shades. And I'll, I'll label the back of the brush so I know, don't forget which is which, okay? This little brush is a suede brush. Actually was made by Hush Puppy. And it has nylon bristles. And then on the inside, it has a small swatch of uh, stainless steel bristles for brushing uh, suede or pigskin. Okay, so that's it for brushes. Uh, I do have a boot jack. Uh, if you're wearing any kind of boot that slips on and has a snug fit, I highly recommend you pick up one of these at a tack shop or a Western boot store. They usually run about five or six bucks. I've actually been, when you go out west, I've been in airports that had boot jacks so that you could get through security uh, I believe the Denver airport has boot jacks for people because so many people wear boots out there. Um, so it's pretty easy. Yeah, 
I use Hubert's shoe grease if the boot has been oil tanned. I own two pair of oil tan boots. My winter boots that I wear in the snow and my, my black boots that are my go-to boots. Some people will use five rings. Uh, there's different uh, opinions on that. Uh, as I move toward the west, I see more five rings being used. Along the east coast, it seems like most people are using Hubert shoe grease. I don't think there's a big difference. Uh, it's just whatever you prefer. Uh, that can of Hubert's is gonna probably last me my lifetime. Um, my go-to polish is just simply uh, Justin's back black boot cream. I'll use that on all of my black boots unless they're oil tan. And then if I have a color that I don't have an exact match for with the polish, uh, my go-to is just simply the delicate neutral cream that Justin puts out. And I'm, again, my own cameraman, I'm trying to make sure you get an idea and a look at that. So that's it. Uh, I will saddle soap, clean, polish twice a year. Uh, if I'm at a BDSM convention, and I usually try to do two or three of those a year, I'll take a couple more pairs, a couple pairs of boots to each convention. So I could, I'm probably getting through probably half my collection every year uh, at a convention. And so someone other than myself, a boot black, is going to get a chance at these boots uh, at least once every two years. And that's just the way I've handled uh, treating boots. I will caution you if you use edge dressing or, or black dye when you do the, the edge of your boot to be extremely careful and not touch uh, the leather on the top. Uh, uh, edge dressing is unforgiving. And if you drop, uh, put a drop cloth down or a piece of, plastic bag or something when you're doing edge dressing because whatever it drops on, it's going to stain. So use, use it very sparingly, very carefully. And actually the best applicator in my opinion for edge dressing isn't the, uh, the applicator that comes with the dressing, but it's just a Q-tip. Just take a Q-tip, put a little bit of edge dressing on it and dress your edges with it. And so I'm just not a, overly a big fan of edge dressing, but I do own some and I do use it, but I use it very carefully. So as always, thanks for watching A Leather Journey. Uh, leave appropriate comments below. Consider possibly joining the channel with a channel membership and supporting uh, what we do as we try to bring uh, leather content to a more public audience and do it in an appropriate way. Uh, again, thanks for watching.